day for our lunch and they had these little octopus there and I never had one before I never tried it but I did try it today and it was uh, it was interesting it had uh, like a rubbery kind of texture to it but I, I ate it and uh, and I took a picture of it because I thought it was cool I've ordered two sets of the Nervo boards from the website and it doesn't make good economical sense for me to do that I I did it I ordered the boards with the components had them shipped from France because I believe in supporting uh, an open source project that you like and and that's why I did it and I, I like the quality of the Nervo boards They're, the quality level reminds me of uh, an Arduino board very good build quality so I soldered all the boards today and I one difficulty I had was on these little boards that go for the finger sensors I well on the on the tutorial it says that uh, start off with a 100k resistor array and, and go from there but I I don't like installing uh, soldering something and then having to unsolder it to replace it so I put a, a socket on there an 8 pin socket so if when I put the resistor array if I don't like it I can easily change it to another one I had a, a bunch of old LEDs in my drawer that, and, and resistors that that had been there for a while and I wanted to use them up so also I wanted to give the the Nervo boards a little bit of a little bit of flare color to them so I I used resistors in in the boards this is the these are the boards uh, when I when I soldered them I had to make solder bridges in, in these different places right here for the one one voltage and and I put an LED there uh, and right here I had to I also want the 3.3 .3 volts to go from the Arduino to the the finger sensors so and whatever else I might other kind of sensors I might put on the board I uh, had to jump this one down here too I, I I'm not on the tutorial it says I I should cut one of these on this line for using an Arduino Uno but since I plan on using two Arduino Megas and use the extra ports for future expansion I I I followed the directions for the the 18 mega for both of these boards. I also had to solder uh, the jump this right here uh, solder bridge on there. This is 
one of the boards after it's completed and everything is soldered correctly I hope and uh, it's ready to to use on the robot I before I after I soldered them I of course I did a uh, bunch of checks with my with my multimeter to make sure I didn't have any any shorts that I shouldn't have and uh, good news both of the boards worked out well it's not easy to see in this picture but I have the six volts connected from my battery and all the LEDs light up and uh, and I check the voltages on the the pins, and, and they everything looks good. I the only thing that I don't understand is on the this yellow LED right here. Uh, it wasn't as bright as the other LEDs, and that happened on both boards. I used two yellow. LEDs there and I don't know maybe my yellow LEDs just aren't very bright or uh, or maybe if I did something wrong I did the same thing wrong on both boards <laughs> so uh, that was the only difficulty I had and it's really not a big deal So this is these are both of the boards after I've finished the soldering. And uh, I had a problem with my soldering iron. I, I have a, a Weller uh, pencil type soldering iron and it it wasn't really a good choice for this job. I, I think maybe I should have bought a, another one with a skinnier uh, tip on it. I, I burnt the uh, this connector a little bit trying to get in between these two connectors to solder those pins in. And uh, it turned out okay. I just uh, damaged the connector a little bit, but it it'll st still work fine. It's just doesn't look pretty. And these are all the little uh, the little boards I I soldered and uh, got the the finger sensors and the, the hands and the arms and. Uh, the head and the neck and I soldered them all I did my continuity checks with my with my own meter and it turned out it went really well this is a soldering iron I have it's uh, Weller and it's uh, this part of it is very wide and I think uh, like I said before, I th if I was going to do it again, I'd probably buy another soldering iron that's skinnier, so there's not so many problems. So that's the that's the video, and uh, stay tuned. For